Hello, and welcome to another Folklore Spotlight, where I show off something made by somebody else that I thought was really cool. Alright, so, I was on the UDK forums the other day. Actually, that was this morning. How about that? Anyways, I found this post by Spilth, who's looking for a programmer, unpaid, but if you're a programmer, and hit this up. It's a pretty good opportunity. I would, but I'm kind of busy at the moment. Anyways, he's making a Marvel, type, Marvel Madness type of game. It's pretty cool. Um, it's not too much interest on this thread, so I thought there would be more. It's just kind of an interesting take with UDK. So, uh, I'm go ahead and play a little video of his real quick. And it's pretty simple. It's just a ball that you move around with WASD, and he moves, and there's a shadow there. And so, that's pretty much it. Isometric view, and this is the game blade, and actually, you can roll around, and there's just this basic level here. Here's another video of some more progress not just him going around that's pretty sweet anyways this project there's some videos here in the description he also has a GitHub. is that how you call it right? GitHub. where's the link to that? Um, here we go uh, github my bad see I don't use github I use traditional sourceforge or svn not github Anyways, GitHub is pretty cool actually. So I went, went ahead and downloaded this. And so I'm going to go ahead and launch it. It's pretty cool. You launch it, it goes straight into the menu. He has no idea I'm doing this. No, he has no idea I'm making this video. I'm just doing this out of my own time because it's cool. I like it. And so you're in a level. There's a 60 at the top, but I don't know. At first I was trying to move around the arrow keys, but that didn't work. But I figured out you can move the WASD. It's pretty cool. And so you can move around. And I just fell between those two things. And once you fall, you're pretty much dead. So you kind of have to reload the game. Yeah, or you can open the, the map back up. But in any case, it's just easier to reload. So he needs to add some, like, restart upon death or something. So here's that shadow. And uh, it's pretty cool. You can roll around. Movement's a little weird at first. Um, there's really no true analog control. I would like to see some. 360 support, get some analog action up in here, but I don't know if, how possible that is with UDK. You can just go ahead and jump off this thing. And this is pretty much the level. I and mean, that's all the tutorials to this level that he has up. It's still pretty cool, I kinda like it. But then, uh, so yeah, this is really simple, what really he has so far. I think it's a really innovative idea, a really cool way to use UDK. I haven't really seen anybody else try to do some of this in UDK yet. Keep seeing a bunch of first person and third person, and I fell again. It's just a box over there that you can roll again, roll over. But uh, I figured this type of mechanic is really easy to use, and I just launched the editor. That's why I already have one open. Okay. But it's such an easy type of mechanic to develop for. I don't see how come a programmer hasn't jumped on board yet. But uh, the reason why I say it's so easy to develop for is. Because I went ahead and went the 3ds Max, and I made myself a spiral here, and I just dropped it in, and boom, now I have a new, more interesting game element that I can roll around in perfectly, and it took very little work. I mean, I just went to Max, made a helix shape, applied a sweep modifier to it, put a shell modifier, optimized it, and then exported it. And now I can roll around in a spiral. I mean, if I made this more steep, my real physics would kind of just roll me down really fast. So, I think that's pretty cool. And so, I mean, it's really easy to make different types of roll aspects. You just go to max and you make it. And then you turn on for poly collision. But it's a little expensive physics-wise. But really, this doesn't really matter because you're just a ball and there's not too much to the game. So yeah, I think that's really, really cool. So I want to try to get some people interested in this. And maybe they'll hop on board. Maybe you can help them design puzzles or new gameplay mechanics or whatever. But uh, he needs a programmer right now. So if you're a programmer looking to do something fun, I mean, jump on this. I mean, this seems a pretty easy thing to do. I mean, he's already got the isometric camera. He's already got the keyboard movement. It's pretty cool. So go ahead and check that out. And there'll be a link to this thread page below this video and link to his user account and the link, links to his Vimeo and the 
which we call it the GitHub, so you can try this on your own. This is August UDK, by the way. Thank you for watching. And hopefully, oh, let's not let you stop this. Hopefully, you'll uh, get some interest. Tell your friends. Find a programmer. Be cool. Bye.